travel the world and I want to be everywhere and I want to experience everything. I've traveled to France, Switzerland, Italy, the Czech Republic, Germany, Poland, Well, I would definitely recommend it. Um, travel is just always interested me, um, but to me, it's just kind of a way to see new things. And if you're when you're in such a small town, you have no idea. What um, yeah, it was. Yeah, the trip was pretty great. Actually, I liked all the buildings and stuff. It was kind of more than what I expected in a way, because you know I haven't really traveled out of Canada before, so. The other thing is I always wanted the tours to reflect a, a, what I thought would be a cross-section of, of Fort St. James and the outlying communities. So when I stand on that bus and I make an announcement to the, to the group, I'm looking at our community. I'm not looking at just one part of the community. I'm, I, I really believe I'm looking at um, a cross-section. Well, so every, every kid from every social and economic status, from every culture we have in the building is represented on trips, on, on all these trips. And, uh, I don't know, it felt unreal because, like, you know, like how you always see it in movies, and, like, if you gotta go there. It's just like unreal. Um, I was just nervous that it was gonna be like, because I'm a picky eater, <laughs> I was just nervous that like something was gonna go wrong and that like there wasn't gonna be any food I like, just like little things like that. But um, our, we actually like missed a flight or our flight was cancelled, so a few things did go wrong, but it was just like. It wasn't even bad, it was just, it kind of made the experience more fun. <laughs> the food was really good. Um, almost every dinner we had, there were three courses. Um, an entree, the main, and dessert. Most of the places it was soups for the entree and anything for the main. So, have you come back and told your mom, like, Mom, you gotta start cooking like a bit more European? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> and how did that go over, okay? That <laughs> Just so I could try new stuff too. So, not see new things. Just, yeah, travel. Travel. I think it was. Um, there's, there's a whole part with the history, right? Just the history of the area, which is, you know, you, you can't learn it as well if you're just sitting in the classroom. Um, but just like I said before, just learning about the world is mostly what it was for me. Just seeing, just seeing the different culture in a way, just seeing like all the little, the thing that was amazing to me was all the little outdoor cafes and people would just sit there for a long time. Um, I've been to Disneyland when I was three years old, so I really haven't been anywhere. I love French culture and so that's why one of the reasons that I want to go on this trip and I love the Eiffel Tower and stuff like that. Um how it was like, you know, there and how it was like torn down and like what people did to try and get across it or try to get to the other side of Berlin and you know, just try to meet up with other people. Because families were completely separated. My own memory, like when I was in, when I was in high school, um, you know, years ago, <laughs> um, my high school, we had, you know, thousand students. It was a fairly good sized high school, but we didn't, we did not have a, a travel club. And I remember really, really wanting to travel when I was in high school. I wanted to see the world. I really wanted to see so many places. And it wasn't available. It, but, I, I, but it was something I really wanted. And I always wished that my, that my high school at the time had a travel club. It's a necessity. This is more than just a plus. Because what it does is it, is it allows our kids to go see the world. It allows them to see other cultures. It allows them to, to eat different foods, right? Um, see the way different people react, right? You know, some of the kids in, you know, first flight in an airplane is with Travis, right? First time they've been to Vancouver, never mind Berlin, is with Travis, right? So the whole thing is just phenomenal.